Yo, welcome back to the channel. So this episode, we're going to carry on with um, vehicles um, because I want to try and make these videos a bit shorter because it's cut, taking ages to upload them. So Toyota, um, that's a good good make for Madagascar, a good make for Africa, a good make for worldwide. Toyota, um, the best vehicle in Madagascar to buy if you want a vehicle for yourself is the LC79 Land, Land Cruiser. That's the one I'd get. You can buy the LC70 with two seats or the LC79 with five seats. Um, serious dollar, though, serious dollar. But you can buy them second hand. They'll last for like 250,000 kilometers. They're very simple to fix. Um, they're solid. Last 20 years with no problems. So, good vehicle. Um, then move on to the Land Cruiser itself. Um, good vehicle for taking the tourists around the island, make profit off that. You've got. Um, the Hilux, which is the lower budget model, if you can't afford the LC, go for the Hilux, Toyota Hilux. If you can't afford the Toyota Hilux, which is still like 20 grand for a second hand Toyota Hilux. Um, you've got the BT50, so you can get them for like 10 grand. Um, Mazda. You've got the Ford Raptor, which are around about 20 grand. Um, Mitsubishi L200, you can get for like 10 grand, 8 grand. Um, you've got the Nissan Patrol, the poor man's Land Cruiser. You can buy them. They are old, like I said in the last video. Um, they cost a lot of money for an old vehicle. I don't know if I'd go with that. You know, you, I'd, it, if you're going to start business in Madagascar like that, try and get a decent vehicle. Get the money, put the money in, and try and buy something like 2019, 2021, something like that, if you can. Um, obviously, you've got the Hyundai, like I've mentioned. You've got um, the Rexton, and you've got the Star X which are good vehicles, good cheap four-wheel drive, Rexton. Um, it's a budget man's car, you know, for, for four-wheel driving around Madagascar. So, and seeing as we're in the fifth poorest country, it's not a bad idea, you know, not a bad idea at all. Um, if you're going to get a, like a Range Rover Sport or a um, Nissan Pathfinder or a Dodge Ram or some big American truck, and look pretty you're gonna look cool a porsche cayenne you're gonna look you're gonna look boss you are gonna look the dog's bollocks for certain however once it breaks down you can have no pieces you can have no parts it, it it's hard to rent out to get your money out of them because they cost so much money they got lots of electrical on them just stay away from them sort of cars land cruiser um good land rover good toyota japanese vehicles good and Korean, if you ain't got the money for the Japanese, go Korean. That's what I'd do with that. Um, you've got boats. Boats. Plenty of money in boats. You've got, um, you can transport people from the mainland to Nosy Bay, to the island trips, things like that. But it's only really around the Nosy Bay area that. Um, be careful about buying a boat for business, um, like tourist business, if you're anywhere else in Madagascar unless you know there's a room and there's a, there's a place for your boat to be there and make money. Be careful. Don't just come here and buy a boat in the south of Madagascar and start doing a tourist business because people haven't got the money to go parasailing, to go speed on a speed boat, to go messing around, um, stuff like that. You can buy them in the south if you're going to do scuba diving business, if it's your business, or you're going to do a surfing business or something like that. Yeah, buy a boat great um other types of boats you've got catamarans you've got fishing boats to take fishing trips great for nosy b but there is competition yeah so be, be careful with that um there's not so much competition with the parasailing then you've got um transport you can buy you can build an indian dow in nosy b or in a lot of places you can in madagascar you can build an indian dow and then get it to somewhere like where you can where you can take stuff to an island like Nosy B, like um, sand for building, like um, food products, like all sorts. Anything that needs transporting from the mainland can be put onto a boat and transported to here, and you can make money out of doing that. Fishing, um, actual commercial fishing, you can do that. You can build a small two-man porog and send two guys out fishing each day. Obviously, they might go into the wrong bay when they return with the fish and drop a few off to their wife and then come back round to the right bay after making a mistake and you end up with a smaller catch than you were actually anticipating getting. So you've got to be careful of that. Um, but you could do a fishing boat for certain. You could buy, build a car, car transporter and do that in Nosy B to, to the mainland. Money in that. 
but there's competition as well. Um, what else is there? That's pretty much it for the boat and business. Um, to be honest with you, it's either tourists in the busy tourist areas of Madagascar or it's fishing or it's transport, transportation. So there you go, I'll leave that one. That's pretty much all the vehicle businesses that I can think of. Um, that you can look into at the end of these videos I'll do a final video about what businesses I do myself personally out the list but if you've got the skills you've got the knowledge any of these businesses are possible thanks for watching